What's up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Mile. Okay, y'all, so as you guys can see by the title, I am going to be doing a braid out on my relaxed hair. So in this video, I'm not sure how many weeks post relaxer I am, but anyway, it's probably about, it's probably just like a few weeks. So as y'all just saw, I sprayed S-Curl spray in my hair, and I'm just showing you guys what my hair looks like. I'm going to proceed to go ahead and part and work on this braid out now as you guys know i am relaxed so um having a braid out on my hair is just like it's not a um protective style it might be no i don't, I don't consider it a protective style at all i was about to say short term but it ain't even a short term um protective style because it don't last long no way it probably gonna last me uh, two days if that it's probably going to last me about two days. But I'll let y'all know at the end how long it lasts. So, anyways, we're just going to go ahead and braid it down. But I absolutely love braid outs, might I say. I love, love, love braid outs. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just start braiding my second braid. And this is what it looks like when I'm done. So, I'm going to come back when it's finished, okay? Okay, y'all, I am all done. So this is what it looks like, completely braided down. Um, my head feels so fresh and so clean, clean. Um, but anyways, this is, um, I'm going to put, uh, what's this stuff called? This is the Argan Oil, Cream of Nature Argan Oil. Um, I think it's like foaming, wrap and shine mousse or something like that. Y'all know what it is. It's, it's, it ain't nothing new. It's mousse. Um, by Cream of Nature. I think that's the only one they got. They might make two, if I'm not mistaken, but that's what it is. It's at Walmart, Dollar Store, wherever. And um, so I'm just going to put this on my hair. I was I was trying to experiment because I didn't really know if I was going to put this on my hair. But you know what? I said, uh, you know what? I'm going to go for it because I ain't used to putting like a whole heap of product on my hair. And so it's been a while since I've moved my whole head. And um, so here it is, what it looked like, all moose down and getting ready to chill out in my head for which, for what I thought was going to be like a day, but child, y'all will see at the end. But anyways, I'm just going to smooth it all out and get it all in there good. And I really like the feel of it. And I'm going to make sure I get those ends because for my ends, I plan, in, I plan on curling them with the rollers, which y'all will see. So yeah, um, i am got these gray rollers. I got these rollers a long time ago when I was in cosmetology school. Um, in those days, I went to cosmetology school in 2012. I graduated in 2013. Yes, I did pass the state board exam. I am a licensed cosmetologist. Um, so uh, yeah, I just had to throw that in there. So anyways... No matter if you license or not, you learn from your experience. And that's in everything in life. You learn from your experiences better, you know. Experience is the best teacher. That's that's what I got to say. So, anyways, uh, I rolled my ends with these rods. And I had noticed, like, the next day when I took these rods out, I was just seeing how well they curled. They didn't curl that much, so I ended up um, curling them, like, way up to the top of my ear at the end of the day. I curled them real tight. Uh, child, here go a visitor. I know y'all heard them screams earlier, and that's where they came from. Little Nivea. This is Nivea, y'all. This is Nivea Ray. And my grandma... Doing her hair. Yeah, she's doing her hair. Okay, bye. Yep, y'all, that was Nivea. Y'all remember I used to do videos with my grandbaby back in the days. Um, I didn't. I have not done videos with her. Yes, she has been here a lot of times since then. But YouTube had changed the way that they vi did videos with kids, and they weren't allowing like my subscribers to comment on the videos that Nivea was in. So I was like, you know what? I ain't got time for this, so I ain't gonna really put her in there like that. So um, that's why y'all have not seen much of Nivea because I wanted to still talk to y'all. But anyway. Anyways, this is what my hair is looking like as I'm rolling it up. Um, 
Yeah, I didn't like the way, like I was saying, I didn't like the way that it was curling the next day. So I ended up having to curl them as tight as I could get them. Like, see how loose I got them right there? Try that little loose um curl right there. It didn't do nothing. When I when I took the roll out to check on it the next day, that thing was still hanging. Like, it wasn't tight enough because I knew once I played with it and, it, like, moved those curls around, once I did take my hair down, those little end curls was going to fall. So, I ended up tightening them up, as you guys don't see at the end. But anyway, this is my bonnet, y'all. I made this. Y'all already know. If y'all follow me, I make bonnets. My website is goldencreations.web.com. This is a leopard print bonnet that is um, reversible. You got a good stretch, and it's red on one side, and it is leopard on the other side, or cheetah print, whichever, whatever print you want to call it, because I haven't tried out on I don't remember. But anyways... As you guys can see, I, I'm i putting my bonnet on over this. And I'm just going to go to sleep. And and I'm think, I think I'm going to take my hair out the next day. At this point in the video, in my brain, I'm going to take my hair out the next day. But, child, we'll talk about that later. Anyways, go shop my website, y'all. Goldencreations.webs.com. Um, help a sister out. Love y'all. Oh, I don't even know why I said that. I thought I was going to go. <laughs> But I still love y'all. Anyhow, that's my bonnet, y'all. Check it out. Go to creatures.web.com. And y'all gonna see what... Here she go again, y'all. She won't let me be great. There she go. She just had to get her little smile in. There you go. Smile, nigga. Oh, she turned to the side. Y'all can see her hair. Anyway, child. Five days, seven days later. Hey, with them braids. Now, y'all see how ragged my hair look? The moose done wore out. I done sweated it out. We done washed the car. Nibby done got in the pool. Uh... She done went to the jump park, all of that there, baby. When I did go out, I put my wig on right on top of this and everything. So, my hair wasn't ready and I wasn't ready for my hair, okay? So, I just let it be, all right? So, now, we got to remousse it, brush it back again. It's okay, it's okay because I got faith in it, I got faith in it. Um, brush it back again and start this thing over i ain't doing nothing but refreshing the edges and putting a little mousse on it brushing it back and making it look brand new crystal clean again and we're gonna see what it do okay and y'all see this curl here boom that's what the, that's the kind of curl i was looking for when i had them loose they see how the back one kind of hung a little bit that's how the front one was doing too but i wrapped the back ones as tight as i could one of them curls look better than the other in the back but it's all good they ended up you know staying up as much as i want them to but i forget that a braid is heavy on those little rollers so you got to kind of curl them up tight to get a significant curl going on with that kind of roller when your hair is in a braid, okay? So what I got in my hands is, as I am so much moisture, shout out to Hairlicious for introducing me to this product. I absolutely love As I Am So Much Moisture. I purchased it from Sally Beauty and it is now a staple in my hair regimen when, when I wear my hair down. Okay, only when I wear my hair down. Other than that, I don't use it, okay? Um, so, I'm taking it and I'm rubbing it all over my hair because and it, it moisturizes my hair without making it feel wet, heavy, and weighed down, okay? Because that's, that's why I say only when I wear my real hair down, out, or whatever, curly, straight, whatever. As long as it's my natural hair that's out, I will be putting, as I am, so much moisture on it because it does not weigh it down. Um, so anyways, yes, I'm going to proceed to take these braids loose. And so far, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit like, mm, we're going to see what it look like. And then once I got this bad boy loose, I started feeling myself. I was like, oh, girl, oh, you finna kill a go, mouth. All right. So I went on ahead and took this braid out. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> So, right here, I got the, um, this right here is heat protectant, but I'm using it as an oil sheen. This is the Silk Elements uh, Mega Silk Olive Heat Protector, and I'm using it as an oil sheen in my hair. I'm not putting any heat on my hair, 
even though that's what it is, but it also gives me a good shine. Secret to the heat protectant. This heat protectant right here, it gives my hair a good shine because it's something like oil, you know, but it got a good sheen to it too. So, you know, if y'all want to know why my hair be so shiny like this, that is the key. Well, not the key, but it's one of the ways that my hair gets shiny after, you know, having a good deep conditioner and rinsing the conditioner out properly, making sure the cuticles are closed and all of that stuff that gives you that sheen that you want in your hair. Anyhow, I'm going to take this hair loose, baby, and you can't tell me, you can't tell me this ain't cute. I don't care what you got to say. I don't care. I don't even care. Listen, y'all see them little parts? I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Mm hmm. I, mm, watch. Girl, I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling myself. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm doing now is I'm like going to like the root of my hair and trying to get those parts out, trying to kind of like, mm, I don't know what you would call it, but kind of fluffing it up at the base. So that way it'll give me more volume, more fullness coming from the root of my hair, the, the the scalp base part of my hair. Look at that curl. Ooh, I hated to touch that one. I wish I could have just, next time I'm probably going to try a braid out and do a bunch of plaits and see what it's going to do, you know. Then I, without having to, you know, touch my hair and undefine those curls so much. But I think it look good, baby. I think it look good. I'm going to get this comb right here and I'm going to comb only the root part now. I ain't coming all the way, you know, to the ends. I'm just picking it. I'm kind of like, you see what I'm doing? I'm picking it. So it'll like get a little bigger. Get a little bigger. But as, you know, as the day go by, it get bigger as it stands. And this um, braid out, y'all, lasted me approximately by day three. I was ready to be like, now nah, we got to go. So after like the fourth day, um, I combed it out. So it lasted me four days. It didn't look like this the whole four days, but it looked like this for the first two. And I was glad. I was loving it. And I was feeling myself, baby, you can't tell me my hair don't look good. If you if you do, then hey, that, that's on you, baby. But my hair cute. Mm-hmm. Show sure is. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.